there's a lot going on, obviously, several areas of concern for Shermer. Is Eli, Nate, the biggest problem for the Giants? No. No, if I could point a finger without being rude, I'd point that finger right back at Shermer and say that there has to be better play calling. When you look at the evolution of the game offensively, you see certain teams this year, the Rams, KC, the Patriots have been doing it for a long time. What's going on in Chicago with Nagy, there's ultimate creativity. I look at the evolution of offense as like the evolution of music. Over time, you had swing, rock and roll, disco, hip hop. You had some pop music and house music, and now there's mumble rap. And I think for people that are true historians sure. of the game, they don't really like mumble rap. It's like, ah, oh, it's too confusing. It's too much noise. I don't know really what they're saying. Guess what? It's working. It's these selling. guys, these yeah. selling. Like these it. guys are superstars. <laughs> these guys have followers, and they're making money. That's what moves the needle now. Yeah. When you look at these offenses, the gadgets, the sweeps, the RPOs. What is this? Is it a pistol? Is it a wildcat? It doesn't matter what you want to call it. Maybe it's the mumble rap of offenses, but it's working. And if you guys are paying attention, you're either going to have to get on board or get left behind. And I feel like for the first time as I was watching this game, I saw one offense that was creative. And they're musically just making sounds that got them in the end zone. That was the Eagles. Then I saw the Giants offense mm -hmm. seem outdated. It's like, I, I don't like your production. I don't, I don't like the beat that you're writing to. I, I don't like the rhythm. I don't like the sound. It was an outdated sound of music offensively. So the Giants, they have to have better play calling and more creative play calling. Trey, are you pointing the finger at Eli? Yeah, uh, Eli's got to take some blame here. In this market, he's got two Super Bowl rings, so everyone looks to point everywhere else. But I think on they're collecting some dust, man. On this, fr on this Friday morning, I think it's time to finally look at number 10 and say, let's be honest with ourselves. Let's look in the mirror here and let's see what we got going on. They hadn't had a first down converted on third down going all the way back to week four it took them 15 Insane. straight drives so finally they got one yesterday on the 10th drive of the game they converted a third down eli completed some passes on his average yards through air for his completions mm -hmm. yesterday were 3.3 yards meaning it was a screen pass to odell or it was a screen pass to saquon and they went right. eli's not playing well i think you can go through the 32 starting quarterbacks in the league and i'm not sure there's 28 that you wouldn't rather have than mm -hmm. eli at this moment that said, All to right. Nate's point, it's not just the Eli. It's not just Eli, sure. The, the organization as a whole, and I bring this email out here because you know I've got, got my friends. We've got our childhood friends. Oh, oh yeah, who's this got? guy? This okay. is my buddy Todd DiTrapani. I love He's Hi, a Todd. resident Giants season ticket holder. This was the email I woke up to this morning. I was long asleep. I woke up 5 a.m. This was sent. We've got issues. <laughs> we do literally everything that bad franchises do. Bad penalties, no discipline, no creativity, no life, no spark, no leadership. And that includes Eli Manning. Where is some leadership from Eli? I know everyone picks on Beckham, but what about Eli? In this game in particular, the very first play was a fumbled kickoff that was ruled down from scrim or from the yeah, ruled down. Yeah, right. They almost lost on the open. Oh, but don't worry. Two plays later, we threw an interception. <laughs> I don't think I've ever witnessed a game where I can say from the very first second, I knew there was no chance my New York Giants mm. were winning the game. That's the feeling of a Giants fan right oh, now. Oh, I was there, Shriggs. And what, what was the feeling in the building? I, it, it was like what, everything you thought that it would look like in a movie, to be at a New York game where there's so much excitement and it's obviously there's a lot of uh, momentum on their side based off you know, the loss last week, obviously, but it's prime time, it's raining, fans are showing up in the rain, going for, I sat in traffic for two hours to get there and then to have it sort of implode in the first half. People were leaving the second half. It got ugly really, really fast, and I feel so bad for mm -hmm. that. I do feel bad for Giants fans because I was sort of standing for Eli yesterday, like, prove them wrong, shut them up. I don't want to see you on the back pages because you mean more to this city. This city fell apart and got really emotional when you were benched for Gino. I don't want this to be how he's remembered or to have this sort of taste in his mouth as he, you know, they have to sort of make some sort of change at some point. At some point they do. Yep. We all have a little Todd Dietrichpani this morning, don't we? <laughs> we really do. We all got a little. Listen, um. What was that old show, Dirty Jobs? Yeah. Some would go and their job was sweeping up Mike rat Rowe. pellets. Yeah, Mike Rowe, and he'd sweep up show. bird crap or whatever he would do. This feels like a dirty... I, I don't take any pleasure in beating up Eli. It feels like beating up my little brother. But he's got nothing. Honestly, it's, he's so bad out there right now, I think he is hurting his Hall of Fame legacy. I think it's that bad. Um, we are in an era of unprecedented vertical passing games and offense and shots deep and running up the scores. He's got nothing. We are in an era of the older quarterbacks are 41 and 39 and breaking records and winning MVPs. He's got nothing. He's got Odell Beckham, the best receiver the Giants have ever had. He's got Saquon Barkley, the best running back the Giants have ever had. And he's got nothing. And I keep coming back to that word. And I wish I could say he's got something. It's just not there, guys. The third down thing is a joke. You watch it and... He just feels rattled. He feels numb or something like that. We, we tried to teach my, my son Calvin how to ride a bike, and he ate, he ate it really hard on the drive. We went down hard, 
and he was rattled and he won't go near the bike and we're just gonna we're gonna try again in six months because right. he's rattled i watch eli it doesn't look like eli manning yeah. super bowl winner it looks like some guy i've never seen before there's nothing yeah and i hate and he's not dirty job helped. i mean we're looking at the back pages here of course new york's tearing him apart we got yeah. little giants we got fine everybody obviously odell getting a fine for oh, yeah. uh, his activities or the way he was you know acting it's yeah. just it's, it's a mess it is a mess and i think to your point kyle at some point we have to question is he ever going to get back on that bike and it doesn't look like it now it's not all eli he made a couple throws that were deep but it was the ones that he should have made like there's a whole two shot to odell that yeah. just seems short every ball that odell was going up for he had to come back to get and if you're getting paid 20 million dollars i don't care if you're soon to be hall of fame you have two super bowl rings you got to make those passes mm -hmm.